my destiny. Easy life will come and find a way for me. Feel the love. Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. Red is the colour, the only colour. We bring you this game, of course, from Old Trafford, Manchester. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm. To Gets his head to it! Oh, that was a brilliant save. Yeah, he was well-placed to deal with that. Sure, really added the width there, thanks to his... Heads it! He scored! Well, once more, it's him. And we can't be surprised, because his instinct for doing this is incredible. Yeah, they were made to pay for not moving the ball smartly enough through a very strong pressing wave. I doubt very much that this was in the script. Casemiro. Manchester United have hit the front early, a foothold in the game. Well, this opening spell has been one big plus. They should look to add to it, not subtract. Wonderful effort, all by himself. Bruno Fernandes really ought to have made that count. He made all the right moves. Corner number two, then. Paris Saint-Germain can counter promptly here. Oh, that's a key interception. There's some great running on show here, but ultimately there was no way through. Dembele, Garnacho, now it's Bruno Fernandes, and he's intervened well there, he's looking wide, plays a sharp little ball here, Bruno Fernandes, Manchester United are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good, Anthony, Bruno Fernandes. Decent hit! He scored! And again, they simply do not know what has hit them. And that is stunning, just too hot to handle. Oh, the contact was fantastic, right on the boot laces and it packed a lot of venom for what was a really potent strike. So that's two now without reply. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? He might be in here! Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Garnacho. Shot a goal! They are rampant! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Manchester United find a position of real strength now. And things are much healthier in their favour. Mind you, you would have thought that when the last one went in. Hakimi, defending his corner stubbornly, stood up very well to his man. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Good read, needed to be. Zaire Emery. Manchester United are looking lively here. They're playing with more zest, more purpose. They are, and it's all because of the movement we're seeing down the flanks, and I think they look as if they're going to cause some real problems to that opposing defence. Both flanks are working quite well now. There's no respite if you're being chased down like this. 
Fabian Ruiz. Mbappe. Steaming on goalwards. Mbappe! They've scored! Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? Approaching half-time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? They get a throw-in. Garnacho. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. He's picked his way through. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Well, we can't question the quality of the run. He'll have to answer for the rest. Well, this ended up in no man's land. Deflected behind for a corner kick. And it's been taken short. And now they can spring out of defence. There will be three minutes at a time. Marcola. Fabian Ruiz. Passing nice and neat. Paris Saint-Germain. Fight. Has a goal! Really well taken goal. And right on half-time. That is telling. Well, when it's pieced together as efficiently as that, it's a, a joy to watch. And he's done it again. He's got his second. It's the belly! It's in. They are right back in business. And that really is so, so impressive. I'm not making any apologies, but I was willing him to supply the finish, and he came up trumps. The goal for this has... And the whistle goes for half-time. But it has been a pretty crazy game so far. A game played out in extraordinary fashion, and, and the scoreline the underlines that. So we reach the halfway point. Well, what an enjoyable first half. Just when you think a two-goal lead can be decisive, it's gone again, and I hope the goals keep coming. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Hits one! Goal! Oh, he's quite the pro. The speed and sharpness in his game gives him an advantageous edge, and he applies it with lethal effect. He's class, real class. You know, you just know there is no stopping that. That is just the top drawer finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. And that means just one thing, match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Paris Saint-Germain looking to pass their way through. Garnacho. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Zaire Emery. And the shot! A potential goal of the season contender, if only. Well, I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. One Bissaka. Well, they've stamped some authority on things, but how much more authority can be generated? Real chance! No mistake! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. That is simply top draw. Beautifully served up and deliciously finished. 
It's a really, really good goal, and not just the way he finished it. He had to read the whole situation as it developed. He's got four. That is remarkable. Paris Saint-Germain take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Anthony. And that's played in low. That is good pressure, just hounded him off it. Now it's Anthony. In with the challenge. The referee has just said play on. And he was quick to react. Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, that's fabulous. Bruno Fernandes. There's the hit! Oh, that is rather wayward. Bruno Fernandes definitely took on the run with considerable swagger until he shot. Field, number 11. Coming on the field is number 9. That's good pressure, good intensity. Well, they seem intent on marking him out of the game. They're certainly trying to wind them up in the process, Peter. He's through, now is he in? He shifted it to the flank. Tries a shot! And yes, it's there! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. He had the whole picture in his head, Peter. He didn't even look at the goalkeeper. It's starting to look like a done...